Okay. No new prompt. It's remembering. Okay, good. Consent. Because that's great. Because uh, what I want to do, Tob, is uh, start with announcements and production, and then do three sections and go thirty, maybe forty-five minutes on each one. Okay, and then we can have a so uh, so that'll be two to three hours. Okay. And if people have to leave, okay. But rather than me stop at 30 minutes, we'll aim for 30 minutes, let it go to 45 if the dialogue is really good. Stop the recording. And then we'll have different recordings for each chapter. Yeah, that's very good to stop after 45 okay. minutes. So doing pee break, you are not recording. Yeah, that's cool. And the annotations I just found, I like them. So I, I, I can uh, say, okay, click there, click there. Please press this button. I support this. Yeah. I love Good. that. Although it moves. <laughs> can you scroll? Are they scrolling? Oh, no. Okay. They're mm -hmm. there. No, they're not scrolling for me. Are they scrolling for you? No, but they I just can disappeared. I'm able to delete them. Okay. And um, I did a recording yesterday. Oh, yeah. with uh, Michelle and uh, Irene. And uh, let me just play it for you. Uh, sorry, I need to switch screen, I think. Are you on the shared screen? I can Are you see seeing this video? video? Yep, I see this video. Okay, good, here it comes. Okay. Uh, I'll mute it. And uh, it's only a minute long. We should see it switch speakers here. It's a little bit grainy. I don't know if we can improve that. It might have been because I was doing a lot of downloads yesterday. So I'm guessing it's adaptive by Zoom. Yeah, but it's the same. I see now you are you are very cloudy. So the the, the picture is not that yeah. crystal clear that it could be. Right. Um, how is how is my video? Um, is it good? Are you able to read my? Well, you can look at the rest here. It might have been, see, it looks like hers is a little better. Yeah, is, it is. Right? Yeah. That's probably because I had a bad link yesterday. And I think we have Irene in here somewhere, too. I thought we did. But anyway, the dialogue should work. And the whole reason it didn't work two weeks ago is because I was sharing a screen. So the key is turn off the screen if we want to share a video. Okay. Cool. So, um, how did I miss Irene? I have, a, I have another point you can put on your list for announcement. When you go, go to the annotation panel, on the left side, there is a, a called mouse button. And when I click this mouse, it will highlight your mouse with a mouse pointer, with a mouse pointer that big. So, it's pretty convenient to follow where, where are you clicking because it's highlighting your mouse. Okay, uh, I want to wait on that one because I don't want people to feel like they need to learn all these things with Zoom. Okay. I just want to do small, small amounts at a time. My goal for Friday is to actually get dialogue going in support of each chapter. I want the students to feel like they contribute and it's not Brutzman talking so much. So there's a lot happening. It's all good. Thanks for this test session. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get set up here. I just got off a separate video session that went long. Uh, it's a good time for uh, a Hollywood joke. Uh, if you go to a Hollywood set, you know, where they're recording video and stuff like that, and you walk around, you can go to just about everybody there. You know, you can go to the photographer, director of photography, you can go to the uh, actors, you can go to the script writers, you can go to, you can go to the folks uh, at the food cart, uh, schlepping the food. And, and you just do the survey. You, you ask them, well, what do you do? And say, well, you know, I'm the, I'm the star of the show and I'm the, I make sure the lights are right and I give everybody uh, bottles of water when they need it. So everybody's answer is different at the beginning, but the second half of the answer is always the same. And that's, but I really want to direct. 
So I was on one of those calls. Uh, mm-hmm. So sorry, I'm late. Everybody wanted to direct and push it all around. Nice. Uh, so now it's your guys' turn. You get to direct. Let's get uh, some screen sharing going. And okay. Apologies about last week, uh, but hopefully we're up and going now. Uh, let's share a screen. Our basic uh, uh, approach is going to be to go uh, talk about production issues in the first half hour and then go session by session, chapter by chapter through it for the rest of the day. So you all are welcome to uh, keep your cameras on or not. I'm going to start the recording now. Already started, I think. Yeah. Already started? Yep. Good. Um, okay, good. You guys are seeing that symbol. It's not coming up online. All right, so you should be seeing the Hamming screen now for bug reports. Is that correct? Yep. I am uh, we highlighting you. the word Hamming right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. So we have. Uh, uh, a bunch of good stuff to go over. We won't dwell on it. You're able to search around and look at stuff. But uh, the first thing is that we have uh, version control and we have a bug tracker for all the assets that we want to make sure change and vary and so forth. Okay, so here is where you'll find the source of the slides source of uh, some of the videos, the extra videos. You'll also see uh, the chapters already, and uh, you'll find uh, an issues list. If I go on the left, the issues, you can see there's already a bunch of uh, issues here. And uh, uh, Michelle, thank you for your interaction and your activity on here. It feels like we've gotten a lot done this week. I'm not going to drag everybody through everything, but uh, um, if we look at, I think it was, rather than filter, I'll just find it. I think it was issue three was, uh, yeah, we found over the last two weeks that a lot of the chapters weren't really readable. I think this even came up in our last uh, video session. So. Uh, here's what happened. They got scanned and dropped in and sure enough, it worked. So if we go to the chapters directory and we look at any one of those chapters, indeed, I'll be able to click and drag and search or find text uh, on demand. This should help us quite a bit as we do stuff. And uh, further, uh, these words are all uh, checked in as well on the uh, uh, website. And uh, because we've been so historic and archival, I've kept the old version, the scan bit version in there. And uh, there you go. There's an example now of going archival, making mods, and then reflecting them back on the website. Let's uh, jump over to the website and see them there. Um, Okay, so here's the course uh, website. Coming up right now. And uh, we'll do it two ways. First, we'll uh, drill down into there. And welcome, Mike. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're recording. Um, okay, and so there it is, chapters. And so not trying to duplicate everything, but the course material in Sakai and Hamming can get copied and forwarded uh, into future sessions and might disappear. So this is why we want one archival place for the core material, as well as the, uh, the bug checks on that. 
Um, okay, let's pause a second. I'm going to turn off screen share and see if we can't get a video check going. So if people would like to be in the video, now's the time to uh, start or stop your uh, start or stop your video camera. Okay, and I think we've had someone just join. Uh, this is the MB4000 class, Hamming on Hamming. Uh, Mike, is that you? Were you able to get through? Doesn't look like he's got any mic yet. Okay. What are you guys seeing on video? Are you seeing it jump to the speaker? No, yes. I see a roster, three by three, with all people in there. But it predominantly yep. goes to the speaker. Yeah, so at this point, people can either have the gallery view with all of the windows, or you can have the speaker view where the speaker pops up in the main window. So you've got one of those two options at this point. So. Okay, and I just was able to synchronize my audio channel with the video. So hopefully you're seeing me when you're hearing me now. Yes. Is that working better for y'all? Yep. Yep. Okay, great. So let's keep uh, pressing on. We have another major feature. Uh, um, and that's the sidebar option. And Michelle, thanks for, again for your work here. Uh, this is this is very important. So you've all seen uh, an update of that. Let me make sure it's on the screen. I'll go first to that, and then uh, stand by, Michelle. We're going to uh, switch to your screen if you'd like to walk us through it. So here's the announcement with the summary and with the screen update with that. And so uh, are you sharing uh, your screen over to you, right Michelle, now? can you please describe and uh, uh, oh. I'll stop sharing and you'll own it. Okay. You weren't sharing. Uh, it says you've disabled screen sharing, so I can't share. Ah, ha, ha. Those new security features. Allow participant to share screen. Is that working for you now? Yep, got it. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, back up a half a step, Michelle. I'm gonna please use my share share coming through to y'all now. It Are is. Are you guys seeing the announcement? Great. So that's where I navigated before. I went. Uh, from our homepage in Sakai, the overview, and there was the uh, short form of the announcement on the right. You can zoom in by going to announcements tab on the left. We'll let the screen refresh on the recording. And there's a summary of the lectures tab. So back to you, Michelle, I'm stopping sharing and hopefully let you go with it now. Okay. You guys should be able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, so essentially what we did is I created the lectures tab. Uh, if you go there, um, and this will get better as we go. So this morning I also added links to the post-class videos. So on this one page, what you'll have is week by week what uh, materials are you know, you're supposed to look at before we have our meeting. The post videos will be po posted here. Um, and if you click this, it'll take you to the Zoom posting. If you click the other one, it'll take you to the video that's out on YouTube. Um, if you need to get in today's meeting, you could have come right here. And I just did this like right before the meeting, but you can now click on that and come straight into our meeting room. So I'll try to update that every week as we go to 
as I post the videos, I'll move that down. Um, so this will be kind of your one kind of splash page to come to to get what's going on in the course. Um, once you click on each uh, chapter, it will then take you to a page that's that's hopefully kind of brought all the materials together in one place for you. Um, so this is the uh, first uh, video and reading um, and slide deck for this week. So you can watch the video and read here in one, one page. You can um, go to YouTube and just watch the video. You can also go here to uh, and, and download the PDF or put the PDF in a larger window if you want. So you still have all of those options that you had before, except all your materials are here on the one page. Um, if you want copies of the materials, they're down here and under resources. And as we go, I'll add other things to it, um, such as the video transcripts and things like that, which we'll talk about later. Um, so here you can download a copy of the lecture notes, the slides in either PowerPoint or PDF format. Um, the other thing that we're gonna try to do is, you know, we're gonna try to build some questions to ponder or questions to think about down here. And then we'll have kind of a rolling area too that you can either can add comments. You can add comments about the video, about the reading, just random thoughts. You can also add any, any errata or things like that here. Um, and then we'll make sure that it gets put into the issues or is taken care of um, pretty expeditiously. And so there's one of these for every lesson all the way out to lesson 31. All right, Don, back to you. Thank you. Boy, I'm, I'm impressed. What do what the rest of you think? I like it. Thank you for the hard work. A pretty nice setup, everything in one place. Cool. So, uh, uh, yeah, totally awesome. Um, see, this screen is, there we go. Uh, here's, here's what's going to happen with that thing eventually. Um, let me see if I can get more adept at this. Uh, I'm going to disable screen share and just talk. <laughs> you guys seeing me now? Yeah. Hopefully that's what's on the video too. Uh, here's where we're going. The unifying aspect of that thing is great. And I wasn't aware Sakai could do that. So Michelle, your experience is uh, much appreciated here. And uh, uh, now the naive student might think, why are these folks, why, or why, is, why is this Brutzman care? Why is this not organized a little better in the first place? And my response to that uh, theory, hypothetical question would be, Welcome to the event horizon. Welcome to the frontier, because what we're doing here is figuring out how do we not only do a DL class that's engaging, that's discussion, that's different, but we keep pushing the boundary of what can you do online in support of the hamming material. So this is why you're seeing such attention to what did Richard Wesley Hamming say? How did we record that? How are we sharing that? How are we improving that? And I could go on and on on that list. And the point is not that, wow, we're just paying close attention to Hamming. No, it's more than that. Ever since we recorded this, disseminating his ideas, archiving, sharing, disseminating, discussing, making sense, lather, rinse, repeat. That's been a theme throughout this course. We're going to see as we go forward, there have been theses on this. There have been pro projects. There are better ways to do it. We keep pushing the edge on that. I expect at the end of this quarter, and ask everybody for opinion when we get there, the answer may well be no. The answer would certainly be no today, but the question is, is this course ready for DL for somebody wanting to do it as a directed study just by themselves? 
let me rephrase that in a completely technoidal way. Can we get these materials to where they scale up, where it's repeatable without a direct registration and course credit and instructor being there, hey, did you do your homework? Did you do your assignment? I want to I want to incentivize everybody here to say how do we how do we cross that threshold? Some people have done that, not too many at NPS. I'm not sure anybody's done it in a grassroots fashion on such uh, uh, material that's been central to computer science, central to the web in the first place. So it's interesting. It's pretty cool, and uh, you guys all get to help push it down the field. That's where I hope to be at the end of the quarter. Now, here's another typical bungee jump for this course. We go from the details of what are we doing to is it working for me to we could go all the way to the future. Okay, let's bounce right back again. Okay, is it working for you? Well, Here's where here are some cases where it's not working. I want everybody to be familiar with. If your video or your name are going on to this recording and you're you're uncomfortable with that, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, privacy is important, but we are using this as an experiment this time around. Could the recording of discussion help? Uh, let me uh, share the screen again and pick it right back up where Michelle left us a minute ago. Are you guys seeing my Sakai site? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, let's go back to lectures. And uh, let me ask a hypothetical question uh, that everybody here can answer. Who has a question about the lecture, uh, chapter two, I guess. Chapter two, yeah, history of computers. Who has a question about this chapter coming into today, today's session? Anybody? Oh, come on. Anybody? Okay, I'll add one. How do we compare computer practice today to Hamming's projections of where computer practice will be in 2020? It's uh, very accurate. He came up with some uh, proposals and I said, okay, um, how could he know this 25 years ago? One example. Thank is you, Toby. Um, uh, okay, so how'd I do, Michelle? It looks yep. like it's loading comments. Yeah, let it load. Hang on a minute. It should be there. There it is. Look at that. How about that? And uh, Toby, let me uh, stop sharing screen for a second and then please uh, repeat your question so it goes into the video. Uh, it wasn't actually a question. Okay, yeah, come closer to the camera, please. And then uh, when you're ready, please, please fire away again. I think it is uh, pretty accurate what uh, Hemming came up with 25 years ago. Uh, one example is he um, saw in his vision that computer will be everywhere and we will be using them for everything. And how could he know this 25 years ago? Outstanding. I'm going to share the screen again. Great response. Let's uh, walk the walk. And I can see, well, I was uh, typing and talking and queuing and so on. How do I edit mine? I want to, I want to tweak it. I think hit, it's this button pencil. here. No, no, not up there. Hit the uh, pencil. Uh, wrong button. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. That was moderating the thread. Yeah, Here's the, the pencil. pencil. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. uh, 
humans using computers would be in 2020. And you'll see my evil scheme here in a minute. Now, Toby, you just gave us a verbal on the video. Uh, as this comes back up, please append to this chain right here. Okay, there's my edit. Now you can add a comment. Go right ahead. And looks like Toby's typing. We won't bother flipping screens right now. We'll just see what happens while we sit back and watch this thread. Don, what's going to happen is after he enters his comment, um, you're going to have to refresh in order to see it. So it doesn't, okay. the page doesn't refresh unless you do it manually. So thanks. Thanks for that insider knowledge. Tell us when, Tobes. Give me 30 seconds and then I can type. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh my God, that's a lifetime in video. Good. So I will tell you the thing I'm going to say, I was going to say right after he hit enter. Now I'm going to tell you right before. Uh, you guys all know how to enter comments and to enter more comments and chat. What's the next level of that? Well, there's a couple. Some are simple and some are more thought provoking. The first simple one is I was clicking on what Michelle's already familiar with and what we can all you know, I, I guess I'm in charge of that. When we edit a thread, do we keep it? Is there a bad comment? Do we get st wrong stuff out there? Do we ask somebody that, well, you have a good comment, but it's off topic, so move it over here and let's not lose that. And hey, Freddie, what about this comment? You know something about that. Can you? Okay, you guys are all well familiar in 2020 with how to do moderated threads and build conversation and leave behind. I don't see your comment. Comment section. Oh, you're ready to refresh. Okay. Let me try to refresh. No, I don't see your comment. It's not on the hardware page. Okay. I can see it, so everything is fine. It okay. And I'm not seeing yours yet, but hopefully that will may have to open it up here. Am I on the wrong page? I'm on the hardware lecture page. Okay, well, you can hopefully see my screen too. We'll get, we'll get through the fumbly bumbly. I'm on history of computers, hardware, lecture three, comments, and we'll get Toby's comment there. And he gave us a good idea. It's a good response. But this time, I'm sure everybody has some kind of response here. Here's the, the next horizon. Please, when you do these comments, say, is it okay for this comment to persist beyond this class, beyond our first person interaction over the next uh, eight, nine weeks? Because we're thinking, how do we persist this class? How do we make it distance learning in the long term? Oh, wouldn't we want to give people past comments? Maybe they could start at that level and move up from there. On the other hand, maybe we want to say, no, that's a class thing. That's that's best for distance learning, and it's not best for the archival use of encouraging people to work in the class. On the other other hand, it might be, well, can we do both or neither? Can we can we selectively make it so it keeps going or not? Can we maybe while we're doing a class, just keep it to ourselves? and uh, wait till the end and go, okay, everybody, do fair warning. If you've added comments, that's good. If there are any that you think, well, these were too specialized or too pertinent or too private, you don't want them archivally shared for who knows how long. Okay, great, great, scrub them out. But that's my intent is to go long long term on this because it's been that way ever since the beginning. How do we go long term so this asset keeps growing, deepening, broadening its its impact. And um, the mechanics of that we can sort through. It might be that uh, we simply make the class in Sakai. Doesn't have to get refreshed anymore. It stays open. Michelle has experience. Our CD3 people know stuff. 
will be able to uh, figure that out. The challenge to each of you, the challenge I want you to keep in mind is, uh, oh, I'm talking not just for today, I'm talking not just with my colleagues in this course, my fellow students and participants, but we're thinking about future people using computers, going forward, et cetera, et cetera. Comments, questions, please. As I uh, so, I think a recommendation if we want to incorporate the comment please. section throughout the week, as people are kind of taking their own notes and and finding key points out of the lectures, and they formulate questions on that, we post those in the comments, and then on the Fridays we can discuss any of those in further detail. Uh, over the video and audio aspect, since all of this is also going to be saved for posterior sake. And Very I, good. Thanks, I also did not see the comments on the lecture three history of computers, same as Toby. I, and I can't even see the lectures at all. There's, there's something that's, it says yeah. that I don't have permission. Lauren, let me, let me check that. I'll check that for Lauren while Don continues, but I'm having a, it's a browser issue because I can see the comments in Safari on a Mac, but I can't see them in Chrome. So I'm thinking there's a browser issue that we might have to take up with iTex, but we'll get it fixed. Okay, so thank you all. So let's go, uh, given that these vary and given that we can screen share, I'm going to go back to, uh, let's just go into the slides and talk through that. And uh, uh, here's the tricky bit dynamics that I want to set as our challenge for today. Um, the first uh, break point, we're about to finish the first section, the production section, and go to the next chapter. Any parting shots on production? today. Super. Uh, you get to go uh, deep and wide in the uh, bug tracker or just uh, tell me and we'll put it in the right place and we'll keep going. Okay, so I am now going to switch screen shares for uh, the next chapter. And let's just go straight into uh, resources and uh, there we go. Back to the top of resources and uh, we have slide sets here and let's open up the slide set for uh, handing chapter two. He says patiently. Okay, 